Hi, this is Wendy recording from the Tandy 1000 SX and today we are going to learn how to make an automatic uh, executing batch file um, in MS-DOS 3.2, so something that would basically run once you start up your computer. We're going to write that with the copy con command. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is type out the words copy con, and con is basically just short for console. It's going to be taking input from the console or the keyboard. And then the file that you want to write to. In this case, we're going to work on autoexec.com. BAT. That is what you want to call your your file, your your auto executing file. Then press enter, and then basically anything you input is going into this file. So we want to start off with echo off enter, and that's basically going to make it so that any command that it types out, it doesn't um, echo that or print that twice to the screen. Next, you're going to want to type your path. In this case, we want it to go to C. You can set the path to um, basically whatever you choose there. Uh, The next, for fun, I'm actually going to have it type out something to the screen before I have it go to the command prompt that you usually see, like a C prompt or an A prompt. So I'm going to type out echo, and I'm going to have it say, hello, Wendy. So by putting the echo before the hello, Wendy, I'm basically just saying print that to the screen as, as one of the commands in this file. I'm going to go ahead and press enter, and then Last but not least, we want to set our prompt. And you can set the prompt to say anything you want. You could again I could type in hello Wendy and then that would be that would be the prompt. You could have it say, haha, look at my butt. <laughs> in this case, so we're gonna go with just this, you know, the, the standard. And what we will do is type in a dollar sign and P and a dollar sign and G and press enter. What that is, is a setting the prompt to the dollar sign P is the current path. So in this case right now it's just C. Um, and the G is the greater than sign. So the little, you know, after your C colon slash, then you have that, that greater than sign. That's how you get that there. Once you're all done writing your file, you're going to want to press F6. And then you'll get that little, basically that control Z icon once that appears, press enter, and it is all done. So now if we go ahead and run it, it says, hello Wendy, and shows us the C prompt. So that is how you would write an auto exec file in MS-DOS 3.2. Um, next time we will actually edit that with Edlin. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.